In this video, I'm going to show you to unbreak your MSQ Pro 8080A if you're running the chip 8080A. Hi, doing guys? This is Dario from Media Box, and like I said before, we're going to actually upgrade. But upgrade what? We're going to actually try to fix the problem you have with your box. If your box has been freeze, you, your M low is like stuck, nothing happened. And if you have the 88A chip for the Wi Fi, well, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the box. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you in a different, I'm going to actually go into my computer. We're going to plug this up. I'm going to put another camera and I'm going to show you how to upgrade the box. I'm going to show you also what the chip look like. So you're going to open your box and you're going to see, make sure you're running the chip if not i'm going to give you a link for another video that i have too it's going to help you with the different firmware i'm going to show you the two different chips you can have in this box now this video is not meant to upgrade your box if your box is working fine do not upgrade it people always try to upgrade this thing they don't make no more upgrades that's it now we got version 6 we got a lot of boxes these are this the 5.1 and they're not going to be any upgrade is what it is at least from this company they make these boxes they're not going to make any upgrade so that's why to upgrade a few boxes working fine leave it the way it is okay and not, not worth it because then you can have a lot of problems and if you have a lot of boxes you can try like me I have a lot of boxes so if I kill one of these boxes I try the next I try the next one but if you have only one and you kill it yeah you know it's not going to be fun so this video is going to help you to fix up because a lot of people went and used my other video and upgrade and now yes it fixed the box but it no longer works the wi-fi so the intentions of this video is try to fix those boxes the wi-fi is not working all right so just to remind you if you're not part of media box ENT, to subscribe to my channel leave a comment and time's up and now i'm going to show you how we're going to fix this msq pro all right, so first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to go to my site. Remember, mediaboxent.com, okay? You guys, just click on firmware, or you can use the link. will be in the video, actually, in the description of the video. All right, so here we're going to take the problem. Remember, this is only for the RT8180A, okay? First, you know, I want to give a big shout-out to AJ Kessel. That was really nice to be able to give me the firmware 8188 was real hard so this firmware is in the russian version but no worry i'm going to teach you how to get it back into english a bit easier thanks aj for giving me this uh, firmware for everybody here in media box ent that's one of the most important thing in this channel we try to help each other and that's the main idea that i create this channel okay so all right so let's move in like i said before we're going to take care of the problem 8188 so like it's in the beginning if you did use my other upgrade 8189 and your wi-fi it starts working well this is the fix the only different this this firmware doesn't have all the nice thing i put on the original one because for some reason i could not edit it will give me a lot of errors there was no way to modify so it's a simple clean uh firmware it have no cody on it so you need to install cody don't worry about it i have a lot of videos on my channel how to install Cordy, how to upgrade, how to do, how to put Adam so you can do that one no problem. At least you get back your unit, a working unit. And if your unit don't work in, if your unit's not working, this will be the fix as well. All right, so let's move in. All right, make sure you guys read this. Okay, caution, do not upgrade if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, I'm not gonna be responsible if you guys blow or melt. The MS Cooper is not going to melt. Okay. So, okay, I guess it went again. That's a 8188. And we see here. Okay. So, I want you to talk about the chip. Okay. So, this is a picture. I'm going to show you another video coming after this with the microscope. So, you can guys see what you're going to look for. You're going to have to open your box and you need to see what chip. Just look over here. Like this one is 8191. So, you log into chip. Make sure your chip says that 8188. If it says 8189, no worry. I'm going to write over here. I'm going to put a link on my other video. How to do it. And also, the straight to my page with the, all the firmware. Okay? So, this one here. 
all right now I'm going to show you the step two how to do all this now in case your know, box is not detecting it the steps I'm going to show you because I'm not going to do this method because I have no problem to detect it then you need to use this method the way it works you're going to have to put a two picks or something in the AV I'm going to show you that don't worry about it and then you hold it in it kind of depends on the buggies you need to hold it and insert it two in the same time you got to make sure you start the software first very important and you need to load the firmware first before anything I'm going to show you that again so one is that and then one is plug in then you take the pick out and it should be it should detect it okay my case I don't have to do it it automatically detect it but if they give you a problem my method give you a problem then you're going to follow this method okay so you're going to Put the pin you're going to hold it then you apply power usb connection all the same time that's it cable cable simple and easy okay you guys going to click here this is a random uh, link i just look into it it's an ebay let's click on it it's about three bucks all guys you can make it yourself just grab any old printed cable you see it's a to a cable it's only three bucks but i guess come from china you're going to have to wait a long time for this so what you got to do you got to grab any cable when you print it you cut the two ends so you need two cable printers actually cut the two ends and match the match the color there are four cables two five five volts and two for data colors are red black five volts white and yellow it's going to be your data if it has any other color you match color red to red okay make sure this same type of cable should be no problem you match a cable you have to put something to uh, make sure it doesn't get ashore, use some type of tape or whatever you have to make sure the cables are not connected to each other. Okay, if not, you're going to be burning your computer out, so make sure you know what you're doing. If you can't uh, worry about it, you're not sure, then I do recommend you to look to buy the cable. You can look at Amazon or the companies, okay? So let's go back to my page, okay? And here, like I said before, if you guys need the one at the end, it's here, and here is the other link. Now, we're going to download the firmware, and before that, and another thing, make sure it's enough for our mailing list. It seems that you too have a bug right now, with being people being unsubscribed automatically, and also people not getting the emails, a notification email, if you sign up for my uh, automatic notification. So sign up for the mailing list. This is not for the spend at all. It will be a monthly um, mail, okay, a newsletter when I'm going to show you all the videos coming up and all the videos we have in case you miss anything. So it's a good thing. So sign up for our mailing list, okay, very important. All right, so we're going to download. Okay, we're going to click, uh, what is it, downloads? Oh, here, I'm going to download. Okay, so you can download. You're going to save in your location, okay? And then remember, it's not an R, so you got it use an MZIP program, you can use 7-zip, uh, uh, R&R, there's many ones you can use to take this apart. And I'm going to show you now what we're going to be doing. Okay, so after you take it apart, okay, you're going to get all these files, and this is your firmware. Now you need to take apart, also, this is a SIP, the burning tool, which is pretty easy. You know, again, you can use MZIP, 7-zip, in that case, I use r and &R. It will do that too. You're going to extract it. You're going to go here. Okay. And you're going to install it. So you're going to uh, click English. It's the only language anyway available. So we go next. We're going to install it. We'll create that desktop. You go yes. And this is what it's going to show you now. This is very important. That's why people have a problem. You see this? Okay, make sure you install the drivers, okay? So we're gonna click next. And I show you, this is what you need. You need a Win32 World Cup. See here, it's ready to use. If you get a red mark over there, a check mark there, red, then you need to do it again. If you have, if this doesn't work, then reset your computer, uninstall it, and do it again. Do it as many times as you require you to do it until you get this check mark, a green check mark, very important. If you didn't get this, then you're going to have a problem. So I guess you did already. We fine. Okay. We finish. Now the next part, do you see this a little file I put here? This Mac file. 
this needs to be copied into your C directory and to program. So I'm going to show you now. This is the license. You need to copy this. That's another problem. That's why people have a lot of errors because you need a license. So this is what we're going to do. All right. So look what I did. I went to C programs x86 and a logic USB burning tool. Okay. We see this is the directory. Okay. That's very important. You need to do this. Okay. And we go license. If you have anything there, no worry about it. What are you going to do? You're going to grab this one. You're going to copy it over. And if it's something there, you're going to overwrite it. This is a very important step. And this is what people go crazy trying to figure out why it's not working. Because for each box is required, it requires a Mac, this Mac file. I know the problem that maybe you're going to have after you do this upgrade, if it is possible your remote control is not longer work. So that's my next step or my next video I'm trying to figure out. We need to modify some of the files and I'm going to make another video how to fix or reprogram your remote control. I mean, remote control, you need to be reprogrammed. We need to reprogram the box. Okay. So we're going to do that. So if you have that problem, just hold on. You can type a message in the comment. Let me know, Dario. My, my remote control will start working, then we're going to take care of that problem after I figure out how to make a video possible so everybody can understand how to do it. And in the meanwhile, you can use any USB keyboard, any USB mouse, any USB remote control, any USB wireless mouse, anything will work. Okay, so we got that already. We copy, we're going to execute. All right, so let's look uh, for a second an MSQ Pro motherboard. We see the Wi-Fi chip is next to the LED. That's what you need to look for. Okay, I'm going to use the microscope actually to focus better. All right, so you can see what in real time these things look like. Okay, so you got to open your box and check your chip and check the numbers. Okay, okay, right there. Okay, all right. All right, so the next step, we execute the two burning tool. It's in Chinese. So if there's any Chinese, no problem. Okay, we're going to switch to English. Pay attention. Okay, we're going to switch to an English version. Okay, the next step, very important. Before you even plug your pop, before you do anything, you need to load the firmware. So we're going to load the firmware, okay, that we just download. And we're going to click Start. And that's the most important part. Even if you follow my method or the toothpick method, you need to click a start before you plug anything. It needs to be waiting for. If you don't follow that step, it will give you problems and errors. Okay. So you're going to click a start like now. And then now we're going to plug in and follow the next steps. Decision to the MSQ Pro now. Okay. And let's show you the one you need to plug it in. It's the one right in the back. Okay. And, uh, show you right now that's the one do not use the one in the side because it will compute your computer will not going to detect use none of those in the side okay only the one there and that's where you got to plug in your uh actually av connector let me show you naturally on the motherboard so you can see what the switch looks like you see that tiny switch you need to push tiny switch with the toothpick or anything you can insert there and that's the other method we're not going to use that and have to because it will automatically detect but you can see that there let me see if i can get a little closer and you can see that better so you have an idea when you insert the pick you will feel like you will feel like a switch okay that's the one what it looks like that's a cable that i made myself just got it make it sure so i have no problems pretty small cable to eight got it and put some tape something to hold it and that will be it Great. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put actually the HDMI cable, as you see, and I'm plugging any power, and I'm going to use that to make it. I'm going to go into the software now and make sure we click start. We're going to open another window so you can see what's going on. And actually, my card it will not sync. Okay, so it actually looks like a blank screen. In that case, maybe that happened to you. Okay, some boxes will show you, some not. Actually, the Android uh, guy since upgrading. Uh, so let's click start. Very important is what software is waiting for. And now pay attention to the screen. Okay, I plug it in. Right. I use my hub to power it up in case it will give a problem. You can use external power. 
an FUC. All right. I did detect it for the second power. Pay attention to the software. It give me no error. It takes about three minutes. Okay, so let's pay attention to the software. Everything is okay. I don't use any extra power. Again, if it'll give you any problem, you can plug it in with the external power. Okay. So that works pretty good. No problem. Almost done with no arrows. Hey, beautiful. Look, no arrows at all with the three minutes. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to just take the power off. Use external power. Let's open the main screen so we can see. Right. Okay. So we're going to unplug it. We're going to kill the box for the minute. All right. That's it. And now we're going to plug in the external, the original power, the five volts, and it should be okay. As you see in the screen now, eh? start syncing. The first time it will give you that in the set, guys. You see how beautiful it is? And done. It's working. We are back online. Everything's working fine. Okay. So finally, so let me show you how we get into, like, as you see, it's Russian. So we're going to switch now to the English version. Okay, so we move to configuration, settings, okay, language, and now we look for the English version. So we move all the way up, right there, English, okay, or any other language you want to set up and that's it. Done, okay, it's working perfect. Like, remember, it's a pretty clean uh, unit, as you see, it's not Cori. I have a lot of videos how to install Cori. So remember to become part of Media Box CNT and leave a comment and that will be it, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.